Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today's story is Double Patch Tuesday. As always, this Tuesday, which was the second Tuesday of the month, was Microsoft Patch Day. And it's an especially important patch day because you might remember Microsoft skipped their February patch day due to uh, undisclosed technical issues. As a result, this patch day was rather large. Microsoft released 18 security bulletins fixing vulnerabilities in many products. They rate nine of those bulletins as critical. Some of the products include both their browsers, IE and Edge, of course, the Windows operating system, some office packages, and even their virtualization platform. Now, there's a ton of vulnerabilities within all these bulletins, so I won't cover them all, but do know many of them are code execution vulnerabilities you need to patch as soon as you can, especially the critical ones. More importantly, you might remember previous videos where Google and other researchers have disclosed some zero-day flaws in Microsoft products. For instance, one researcher disclosed a denial-of-service flaw in Windows's S. SMB network protocol, and Google also uh, disclosed a few flaws in browsers and things like that. Some of these bulletins do fix those zero-day flaws, so you really want to apply your Microsoft updates as soon as you can. Once flaws like these go public, it's only a matter of time before criminals actually weaponize them into real-world exploits. As always, Adobe also shares Microsoft Patch Day, and they release two security bulletins as well, specifically updates for their Flash Player and their Shockwave Player both of which are kind of popular add-ons for people's browsers. If you happen to be somebody that uses these add-ons or you use them at your organization, be sure to go and check out Adobe's bulletins as well to apply the proper Flash and Shockwave updates. In any case, it was a very big Microsoft patch day. Since we skipped February, I think it's as important as ever to go get Microsoft's patches as quickly as possible, especially since they fixed four vulnerabilities that were publicly disclosed before Microsoft had a patch available. Anyways, that's it for today's story. Thank you for watching. <laughs>